So how are professional? Hey! Is, I can't see the screen because it's close. Uh, yeah, but at least now you know where to look, yeah, right? Whereas true, on true. mine, I see my face. Oh, I just have an idea. Julia, I'm gonna just flip it around. Julia. Yeah. 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 Except the framing. Good. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, these are my Twitter buddies. Hey! Cool. All right. And we're going to the expert hall. Expert hall. Glenn Gasner says, the spring project, yes! No, no Glenn, no! Glenn Gasner also says, I'm so sad that it's over, boo, I mean, thank you. You may now take a season off so that you're fresh for the winter project too. It's only nine months away. Well, thank you for that information, Glenn. I will keep that in mind. Also, stay safe while in Florida. That's a situation. Ugh. Bella's Go Missing says, I'm gonna miss the winter project, it was a fun time, hope you feel better soon. I do feel better soon, Bella. Thank you for that. It was indeed a fun time. Uh, okay, now that I've fulfilled MatPat's instructions, uh, back to VidCon. And as somebody who's maybe in charge of figuring out what the community is consuming, I want to listen to the people that are disenfranchised within my community and say, here's the microphone, I'm not the one in charge, you should be. What If you could tell my millions of people that are listening one thing, what would you want me to amplify? And that, that's my goal on YouTube is to like pass that microphone to people that don't necessarily have the same privileges and platforms that I have and say, okay, let's all learn together. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, I... And it's this cool like swapping of ideas that again goes back to the difference between fan base versus community. Like, you know, no matter how many times I tell Kim Kardashian that, you know, she needs to have a, a, a butt wiggle emoji or whatever. <laughs> I'm sure she's done. I'm sure she has. Yeah, right? Come on, let's get she real listens. here. She did what you wanted. She, she, she knew what I wanted before it came out. Well, everyone tweets out, hashtag perfpat now, thank you so much. Um, Hello, everybody. Um, so I was just at the community panel thing that you saw. And previous, prior to that, I was at the expo hall. And now me and Mum are getting lunch. Say hello. Grilled. <laughs> oh, we're going to grilled. because nobody knows the second verse. Your, your national anthem is so much better than ours. Woo! I, all I heard was, oh, straight! <laughs> <laughs> Beans right now. Right? Beans is staying with my lovely dog sitter, Mary. Uh, Mary emailed me this morning and said that a stray cat got into the yard and Beans went ballistic and then the cat took a So, so we're waiting in line. Again! Again! All the, line, All the time. It's, it's fun and we have new friends now. Hello new friends. Hello. I mean, I haven't changed. Like I said, I don't <laughs> We spotted a wild dirty clock. These volunteers is really great. 
so I just I just have my main grade with my aim rate. Photos on the screen. Uh, and we all freaked out a bit and it was great. But I'm going home. I'm staying with friends. I'll say I'm going home. It's great. Bye bye. Hello, it is the next day and we are at the Queen Victoria Market. Looking for food. We got Guzzle Mays and I'm very excited about it. You want to be able to incorporate race, your own race, into your content uh, on your own terms. A lot of people will start seeing you as like the voice. If you have a lot of uh, uh, following, a lot of people see you as the one that they look up to to talk about these things. And I feel like that's really dangerous. This is such a great thing to end on. <coughs> on SciShow, for about two years, there was one guy who left the same comment on every video. <laughs> Do you know what I'm about to talk about? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, he, he said, why is there hair around my anus? <laughs> <laughs> and it became like a community meme, like everybody, every, every, every time the video would go up, people would be waiting. <laughs> as soon as the video would go, uh, as soon as the comment would show up, people would upvote it and it would be the first comment. For like six months, it was the first comment. So it took me like a year and a half to get to like legendary status. And then finally, we were all, I was like, Blake, could you write a video on why there's hair around my like this? And he was like, no. And I was like, okay, fine, I'll do it. And I did, and I did a bunch of research. So I watched a panel on race this morning, and then I went to the education one, and now I'm at the LGBTQ plus one. It's really cool. And I'm trying to meet up with people, but I can't find anyone. Anyway. So, I made that, and after making that video, I just made it to show people, look, you're not alone, sexuality is confusing, you don't have to understand yourself straight away, and I, I connected with so many more people than I thought was ever possible, and it was fantastic, and through that, uh, by being open on YouTube with my sexuality to everyone that was watching it, it helped me understand myself better, and then beyond that, because I started creating more sexuality-based content, I did a lot more in-depth research than I would have otherwise, and I learned about like, the different categories of asexuality I didn't know existed and where I fit exactly. And it's like, if I give you the full term for my sexuality, I, spent, I sound like the specialist snowflake on the planet. <laughs> yes, queen! Special snowflakes unite. Yes! There's one lady who just um, would call me back as well. We like set up this thing where like, she would check up on me. And, um, and this is something that I haven't even talked about on my channel. But, uh, yeah, and like through that, I realized I need further help. She briefly talked about anxiety and like the flight and fight response, and um, and then I went and saw a psychologist, and um, and each each session we just got deeper, and um, she really helped with my anxiety and panic attacks, and then um, I guess through that, and it just shows that there's constantly exploring everybody, and there's so much more, there's so many layers, and um, and just through that, she um, helped discover that there was like deeper meanings to um, my anxiety and I was like connected to other things and um, she was like have you ever heard of like gender dysphoria and that's a very current thing too and she wasn't um, trained and had much knowledge in it but she, she did know a bit and knew more than me and um, she was like um, let's talk to your GP and um, start going through that process. Also I will say that getting help for mental health issues it's going to take a long time and it's going to take a lot of effort just because there is that stigma, especially with my condition depersonalization, it's not very well known yet, which sucks because you're trying to explain yourself and how much pain you're in to everyone you meet because it's just not very well known about. Um, so when I first started really, really struggling, like about a year and a half ago, I started trying to get help and like, I tried to sign up to my GP because I wasn't because I was an idiot and I couldn't find a preview address and then I called around and it just took so, so, so long. And in the UK we have the NHS and it is wonderful but it's a struggling system. Um, so it just takes forever. And it's really funny when you have depression you have no motivation to do anything and you have to pick yourself up off the ground and like register and like if you have anxiety you have to call someone and ask for help. It's just so so difficult but i will stress that it's so important please don't give up keep going back keep trying if you need help you could do it and you will get it eventually and it will be worth it and if the first um, the things i talk about online just are like really intertwined so like when i hey, i didn't want to say that word because i wasn't a fan anyway so i was just at the mental health panel which was really great 
Uh, I realize that today has just been a bunch of shaky shots of panels, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, but I'm now going to go a light up to meet Hank Green. Ah, uh, okay, let's let's do this. Hello, we're in line to see again. Hank Green. Yeah, Anna's here again. Again! It's a fun time. We have new friends. Woo! Cool. All right. It's a long line though. So, so I just met Hank Green. Insert photographical evidence. Um, and now I'm going home. I don't want to go home. Oh, I don't like a, a, a segment, a post VidCon segment here because I, I there's some stuff I don't want to talk about. And here is my meeting spot, and Mama's not here, so that's fine. Bye bye. So yeah, I'm not sure how coherent that vlog was. Uh, I guess I'll see in the edit and we'll add words to where I need to. But that was so good, that was so fun. I can't wait to go next year. I'm already thinking about next year. I'm like, do I get a creative pass or do I get a community pass? By the way, I do like my new shirt. I, I, I needed to get much and I was like, well, I can't go past this. So I didn't go past it. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I met Hank Green, a memory heart. Uh, meet and greets, let's talk about that. Before I before I did them, I was like, well, that's really weird. Mm. Now that I've done them, it's still it's still a really weird dynamic, meet and greets. It's like so, uh, hundreds of people waiting in line to see one person. And I'm like, well, but aren't the people waiting in the line just as equally interesting and amazing as the person? And that's true, but they're not, that it's like, di I don't know, hand gestures. It's really weird. But it's really cool. Uh, Mamrie was awesome. Hank was awesome. Uh, it was kind of awkward, but I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. It was just a fun time. They look kind of different in real life, in that they're sort of three-dimensional and uh, like higher definition than 1080p, whatever that is. Okay, now I'm gonna shout out all the people that I met at VidCon, all the awesome human beings. Hello, awesome human beings. Firstly, I just want to say that I've like directed a lot of new people to my channel and I've kind of looked at it and seen that my most recent video is one minute of a US military aircraft carrier just for some reason and my most viewed video is me teaching you how to make stewed apple and my earliest video is a review of John Marsden's Tomorrow When the War Began so uh it's a bit of a weird channel to sort of enter as a new person, so hello new people, I know that you're out there, I appreciate you, um, and d don't be intimidated by the weirdness, that's kind of how we, we, how we jam here. Hello. But I'm gonna shout some people out now, uh, let's start with, let's start with Jamie, who's really cool, who has a collab channel that's about gaming, um, I'll link all of these in the, in the doobly-doo. We've got Anna, aka Krepsley, who hasn't actually uploaded a video yet, but VidCon is gonna be her first video. Um, so that's, that's great. That's good. We got Elfie, uh, who I spent a lot of the first day kind of stalking <laughs> and trying to find because, uh, he tweeted that he had snacks on him and I wanted the snacks. Uh, I don't know a lot about your channel, Elfie. Uh, I have since done my research <coughs> and also lost my voice. Elfie has a really cool channel about like vlogging and stuff, I think. I'm still not entirely sure. But he's doing a really cool project where he's writing from the bottom of New Zealand to the top of New Zealand and distributing LGBTQ plus resources to schools along the way. Well, that's so cool. So check that out because that's that's an awesome thing. Kudos to you, Elfie. Um, I also forgot to mention Tyler who also has a channel, I think it's about tech and gaming and stuff, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, link in the, link in the dupe later. Also, if I've forgotten to mention you, I'm sorry. Um, let me know in the, the comments, and I'll put you in the description, and apologize to you a thousand times. Back to the video. Yeah, it was really awesome meeting new people, um, just sitting in line w for meet and greets, and like, talking to nerd fighters so cool so yeah thank you to everyone who made vidcon awesome and I, I will be back next year like it's a it's a happening thing thank you for watching thank you for meeting up with me at vidcon if you did that that was cool i wasn't alone yay and i'll see you all in the next video dftba hi all right these are these are the cool people and we're oh, wait <laughs> <laughs>
Nah, they're not cool. <laughs> <laughs> We're at a YouTube event. We're not cool. Yeah. <laughs>